apparently Trump picked Mark Meadows as his chief, chief of staff, not because um, Mark Meadows has a problem with me, but because uh, all the conservatives think Meadows is a sturdy conservative and he's religious and he's all the, he's a tea party guy and he is, there's no doubt about his conservatism. And that's why they wanted him to be chief of staff because they needed someone who's who they trusted as chief of staff because Trump has been super on the ropes. He's 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 been having trouble with the entire world situation because the economy is stressing him out combined with the possibility of World War Three combined with um, countries saying that the United States did a terrorist did did this release this coronavirus and. It's combined with a lot of things, so um, Trump has not been handling it very well, and that's why they won Mark Meadows. And that's one of the reasons I think it's so important to support Trump right now, because um, it doesn't, like, just because you're president doesn't mean your life can't be really hard. And um, when you're president, sometimes you, like, you, you, like everywhere, every everything you do, you get attacked for, and it, it can get exhausting, I'm sure. So people do need to support him. Um I mean, we, we, we're in a tough situation. And so, I mean, we need a leader and Trump needs to act like a leader of the entire country, not just of the Republican base. And that's why what I was talking about earlier is about like oh, the fake news, fake news is the reason for the stock market crashing. It's like, all right, dude, um, can we stop playing games with our rhetoric and just, um, why don't you just act like you're a leader for everyone, even people that work for the media?